Hi everybody, uh, today we're going to have a talk about driving licenses and what you need to drive certain vehicles uh, within our range uh, and basically I'm talking really about the uh, California Grand. So with the California Grand uh, we've got the 600 and we've got the 680. Uh, now on the 600 there's two different variations, uh, there's three and a half ton and the 3.88 ton, um, which doesn't sound like a huge difference but uh, within driving licenses world and what you can and can't drive on normal driving licenses it does make quite a big difference. So for the majority of people, um, depending on when you pass your test, uh, to enable you to drive anything above three and a half tons, uh, you do need a different type of license or, or a, a, they need it on your license. Uh, now, I passed my test before 1997, uh, so this is my driving license. Uh, and on the back of my driving license here, I've got uh, C1 and C1E classifications on my driving license. Uh, and those are because if you pass your test before the 1st of January 1997, uh, generally speaking, you would have had those entitlements uh, on your license and you didn't have to do anything about it. Uh, now, since that date, uh, those things, those have not been part of the normal license. Uh, so you then have to go and do uh, a particular test, which we're going to get onto in a minute. So how does this all relate to the, uh, the California Grand? Well, as I said, if you're looking at a 600, there is two versions. I'll be honest, the most popular version we do is the three and a half ton vehicle because everybody can drive that uh, regardless of your age. Uh, so anybody, if you've got a car license, a normal car license gives you that category up to three and a half tons to drive. Uh, it's when we really move on to the 680 version because uh, all the long wheelbase versions are all 3.88 tons. Um, so basically that takes you into that different class of vehicle. So it's important to know that you know that. Uh, so if you are looking at one, you need to be able to know that you can drive it. Because um, obviously if you, if you haven't got the right license for it, you're not allowed to drive that particular vehicle. In Liverpool, uh, there's about four of us who can actually do have that category on their, on their license and we can drive the vehicles. Uh, and everybody else uh, hasn't got that license that's on there. So, uh, so what does it actually mean? What does it entail? Well, that C license, for example, uh, so, uh, so C1, uh, that basically allows you to drive anything from three and a half tons up to seven and a half tons, and with a trailer as well, so you can have a trailer on the back, but the trailer on the back cannot exceed seven and a half, uh, 750 kilograms. Uh, so that's what that particular license category gets you. Now, if you have an E added on, uh, what that then allows you to do is drive a trailer over 750 kilograms, but the whole combined weight, so your combined weight of all the vehicles, uh, your vehicle and your trailer, can't exceed 12,000 kilograms. Uh, 12,000 kilograms, that's a lot of weight uh, that's in there, and that's really more in your lines of your big commercial um, type things as well, which isn't what we're looking at here. We're, we're purely looking at this from a from a leisure perspective uh, on something like the uh, the California Grand, or there may be other motorhomes out there as well, if, it's, if that's why you're watching this video, uh, and they'll probably come under the similar kind of uh, remit that's on here. So the one that we will be looking at that you would need to take uh, is a C1 uh, category. Um, now to do that, uh, you'd have to apply for a provisional. So you have to have a normal driving license to start with, uh, and then you can apply for a provisional. Uh, you'll need to have a medical done, uh, and that medical has to be done by somebody who's DVLA approved. Um, and the, my best advice is to do, there's lots of companies out there that will do this training for you. So if you use one of these companies to actually get you through your test that's in there, as I said, uh, you need your medical to start with, that's before you can get provisional license. Uh, and then once you've got your provisional license, uh, there's a theory test to do. Um, and then obviously there's a practical test to do as well uh, that's on there. Uh, now depending on, on your skill level uh, with the vehicles, obviously the length of time that you need in training is obviously going to vary. Um, I've seen different quotes from there anywhere between 10 and 20 hours uh, needed that's on there, but it is going to be very much depending on the individual, uh, how much you've already driven uh, that's on there as well uh, with the vehicle and to get into grips with the types of vehicles which they're using. It's also worth pointing out as well, if you're looking at different companies uh, to get one of these tests uh, done through, um, that you don't need the commercial endorsement side of these things because you're only using it for your own personal use. Uh, so you're not using it for hiring reward, uh, which is what they class it, which is a commercial use. So, uh, for example, if you were going to be a, uh, a HGV, if you're going to be uh, into heavy goods and driving from on that basis as a career, um, then obviously you would need additional things on top. So you need to do your, uh, your CPC. If you haven't got uh, C1 license, license on there at the moment uh, and that's something you want to 680 obviously you're going to have to go through uh, that process to actually enable you to uh, to drive that vehicle and look at it alternatively you look at the 600 version instead uh, and look at the 3.55 ton which means you don't need any form of license checking uh, at all that's in there obviously if you have got already that on your entitlement like I have for example you're all good to go on both vehicles
So this only applies to California Grand. Uh, it doesn't apply to the ocean or the coast uh, that's in there because they're all uh, below that three and a half ton uh, weight class that's on there. Um, it is also worth checking though if you're actually planning on towing a vehicle at some point because uh, again uh, towing is something which uh, is included on a lot of people's licenses uh, but again uh, depending on when you're taking your test uh, there are additional li licenses for towing as well uh, and they would obviously apply to things like for example the uh, the ocean and the coast if that's what you were doing. So it's definitely something to worth considering. Uh, we're doing a video on it today because I've been asked about it a few times as well uh, especially when families are buying these, these vehicles as well because they're not necessarily just looking for example uh, at themselves using it but you know there's other members of the family who might go and then use the uh, the vehicle as well. Uh, the other time you might come across this as well is uh, if you come in for a test drive on a vehicle uh, so obviously if you're making a test drive somewhere that's in there would obviously uh, normally your license will be checked at that point then uh, they might say for example you, you're not entitled to drive that uh, particular type of vehicle. Well I hope you've enjoyed today's video and found it informative. Uh, as I said the reason for today's video is because we've had people asking us for us and this is something that's not particularly well publicized uh, with as far as the uh, these particular vehicles are concerned so we thought we'd do a video separately on that uh, if you've got any questions or queries pop them in the comments box below uh, it's in there we're happy to uh, answer those and uh, we'll see you again soon